there are some things you will do and you are looking for problem you can't do like that and say God should not use you it's no longer a prayer point God must use you callings will jump from people and land on you angels will leave people and follow you realms and dimensions that were meant for others prophesy to others we lead them and follow you are you getting what i'm saying people that said amen to things we shall scream fall on the floor stand up the thing they received we lead them and follow who a person of prayer so they understood this that as we give ourselves continually in this large amounts there are certain things that stop. Do you notice it stopped? Do you notice we didn't talk about it again? Was there any quarrel after that? Because every time the apostles are speaking, the energy level they are releasing is determining the kind of obedience they will receive from the people. Did you get that? So I can tell you, stop fighting. And you will still fight. At another energy level, I can tell you what? Stop fighting and everything that makes you fight will die as i said it are you getting what i'm saying now i can tell you stop masturbating and you see masturbate and come and cry again on sunday and say i'm sorry it has happened again please pray for me sir i need help and i can tell you masturbation has finished in your life and you will look for it you will never find it are you getting what i'm saying all this happens at energy what levels so it's energy levels because energy levels i mean we love the power of god this evening, God is tweaking settings inside people's heads, removing some knots. Some of you will go wild in your pursuit of Jesus after now. Are you ready for that? That's what they called me to do in the body of Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? At the end of today, some of you will not eat your next meal till next week Sunday. Because something will tweak inside your head this evening. You will get tired of stupidity. Maybe I should start with a little history of how stupid I was. Alright? There are many things I didn't know too. Like, I didn't know that believers should pray that much. We just read it. Contempt for the faith as it was once what? Delivered unto us. That means there are some things that were handed over that as the generations were going, they were not careful to do what? Hand it over to the next person. So when, you know, Papa and uncle and the escorts came around. I was sharing with them and said, What is in my heart is to ensure that something strong is handed over to the next people who have been, you know, ordained. And I trust the Lord that you will continue to pass it down to every generation that comes after now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please listen, you know. I remember when I joined Student Christian Movement, our fellowship on campus. And I had always heard about the fellowship before I entered UI. We read the daily devotional and we are blessed in our morning devotion in the house. I was not yet in university and I was longing to be part of this fellowship when I finally entered university. Are you getting what I'm saying? I've heard so much about it. My father was the president of the national, you know, the association nationally for about two terms finally got into 100 level to study law in ui my father took me to the fellowship here my twin brother and said to the president these are your new members it's not an option it's a family fellowship are you getting what i'm saying these are your new members let me welcome them to the fellowship i entered the fellowship and i saw scanty attendance so about 50 something people i was wondering ah the scm i used to hear about that was not the problem. We started attending the programs every Sunday and every Thursday. And it was dryness and death I was experiencing. And let me explain to you what I mean. Some of you feel it, you don't know that is it. Have you ever listened to a person's sermon and you are enduring every minute of it? Raise your hand if you understand what I'm saying. You were, you were, you could not wait for it to finish raise your hand that is the exact feeling of death have you ever listened to a sermon 
and you did not know how the sermon finished when did this start it has finished have you felt it before like why, why is it finishing fire on sir that is the feeling of what life that's a very simple way to describe it your spirit feeds on life say my spirit feeds on life So I noticed I would endure every single service. And I was hungry for the power of God and reality. When you beg people to come for meetings, it's a sign not much life is available. Are you getting what I'm saying? So we endured every single service. There are some particular escorts. When you see them on the poster that they are ministry, you know that we are sleeping in this service. People will sleep with with speed pouring out like this. Sometimes I look at the guy and say, I think he's doing this purposely. He wants to wound us with death. <laughs> Where did this start from? Where is it going? What are we doing? We endured that for a long time. Many things, of course, go with that package. I'm sure you know there'll be many arguments, right? Many quarrels, many fights, many jealousies, many lost things, many issues that go with death. Because addictions can't break in that atmosphere, right? All manner of people will be going through all manner of bondages until someone that has the right amount of life arrives on the scene. So we endured that for a couple of years, and then one day we went to our sister fellowship in OAU. And as we got there, I could not understand that. This was the same fellowship that I'm attending in UI. We went there as an escort with our boss, arrived as spiritual people, entered and stood in congregation. Then we started hearing from the testimony time, because the quality of testimonies are also a pointer to the energy level. You do get that? I'm saying many things. Are you sure you need this? Will I fire on? Because I'm being taken to something I didn't prepare for. I think somebody's hunger is pulling it. Are you with me? The quality of testimonies are a pointer to the what? Energy level. What is available is a pointer to the what? Energy level. So I was hearing some testimonies that sound like you are in Dunamis headquarters or you are in Winners Chapel. How? Do you tell me you went to ATM and put ATM in with no money in your account and money came out? Ah, is it jazz? I used to hear those things. I knew it was possible with God. But these people are experiencing it in their testimony time and laughing and shouting, Glory! Yeah? So I was listening. Another person came with an issue of probably, you know, genotype change in fellowship. Who is the pastor here? I was paying attention. They began to worship and the atmosphere was palpably charged. Student fellowship. I said, no. I was wise enough to know that there is no smoke without what? Fire. There are certain things you must understand. Stop saying God just had mercy on them. Don't be stupid though. There is no such thing as that. God doesn't just love them. That's why it is happening like that. There is something happening behind the scenes we are not aware of. Are you getting what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how specially called you are. I'm seeing someone by the Spirit now. Even your birth was prophesied. Listen to this sermon. It will, it will change your life. It doesn't matter how specially called you are. If you don't understand the things Jesus passed down to the church, you will not see the things that have been promised in scriptures. One thing I could not understand is why Christianity did not look like what I was reading. Every time we read the Bible, we see that all things truly are possible, right? But we don't see our signs today. That's why Jesus took 40 days. How many days? 40 days. When last did you attend a 40 days conference? Well, as you do hear of one in the body of Christ, teaching for how many days? Trust me, it will wash your brain. 
and that's the kind of thing believers need if you are going to be established in truth are you hearing what i'm saying now sadly only pastors go through it in theological school the believer must begin to learn again to daily pay attention to a truth until it breaks into light leaders listen learn because this thing does not follow you because you were commissioned as a leader once SCCF is over and we leave our mantles you know your mantle right different mantles that you are given right as an ESCO once you leave you become a normal person and some people are so shocked when life throws things at them because the life does not know that you are an ESCO in SCCF you are back home now poverty is waiting for you if you don't know how to make wealth by the power of God are you getting what I'm saying? all the things you did not know are waiting for you once you leave this place it's a secure place and if you can maximize it your life will change because as NCCF you will pray every morning yes or no? whether you have prayer life or not yes or no? if we a goat we pray every day yes or no? to be in the family house you must pray what? every day so don't learn how to pray continue doing morning devotion and you don't have a personal secret place once you leave you realize that you still don't have a prayer life some people will wait until the last three weeks of NCCF and then start asking the Lord what next what next what is your problem in one year God cannot say what next The last week you're not going fasting so god can tell me what next where next who next in next where was i please you have followed me to where i was going where was i who were you thank you so as that was happening i was wondering because I was, wonder, I was really wondering what grace is powering this kind of man. Please listen. Don't be distracted. What manner of grace is powering this kind of manifestation? It's not normal. It doesn't just happen. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you not been around in churches where once mistakenly Holy Ghost does not show up? Holy Ghost does not mistakenly show up any day. If something is not available in an environment, it's not available. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Can I talk to you guys? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's not there, it's not there. It can go on. Church can go on for 100 years. One healing will not happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I was wondering, where did this thing come from? This is campus fellowship now. I don't want to be confused people. We are supposed to be. Yes or no? We just came from secondary school. We are still supposed to be solving confusion crushing on each other boyfriend girlfriend you get what i'm saying fine girl boy fine boy how are you hello beautiful you look at today in service but i was just confused where are these guys getting this kind of intense atmosphere from what are they doing behind the scenes so i called one of the escorts that i knew and i said bro please don't mind me what do you guys do as escorts they didn't even realize because sometimes when the faith is being passed down it's not passed down in doctrine and teaching it's just passed down in practice so people don't know why we're doing what we're doing some people don't know why we're praying every day can't i pray once a week i've asked that question before when i was confused too i asked an auntie in church. i didn't like prayer just in case some people are looking at us now in a generation i said god has graced him for prayer i did not like prayer you think you don't like prayer I hated prayer more than you. One day I asked a very intelligent question from Auntie in church. I said, I've been thinking of something recently. Is there not a realm of dimension where I can pray on Monday? I can pray on Monday so much I will not need to pray throughout the week. Yes, you are opening your mouth. It was making sense to me. You know where the spirit of prayerlessness is on your case? I said, what if there's something in God that enables you to pray the kind of prayer that will not require you to pray again to the end of the week? She shouted, Ah, I said, Stop shouting, <laughs> it's just a thought. 
that's how much I've been looking for shortcuts. Someone say shortcuts. I've been looking. And look, 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 I didn't find. Is there a man of God I can just tap my head like this? Tap, and I stop stressing myself. I didn't find them. I've still not found. I did finish the story of our father, Evangelist S.K. Abiara. The story goes to us that he fasted for 17 years, breaking with coconut and gari. How many years? How many years? How many years have you lived? If you remove 17 from the number of years you have lived on this, how many is remaining? Think of it. Just think of it. Assuming you are 27. You've removed 17. How old were you when you started fasting? And you didn't stop till this year. If you are here, you are 22, 23. Remove 17 years from it. What age did you start fasting? And you didn't stop till this year. 17 years of fasting. What he broke with is what broke my heart. He broke with what? Coconut and Gary. Those angels will be very angry. No wonder when he said, You will spread like wildfire. They no burn the devil. That we keep that voice from what? Of spreading like what? Wildfire. Like we doing? <coughs> what will spread? <coughs> you can argue with your destiny. I can preach better than him. I said, What will spread? What made them give themselves to such sacrifices? And why is it not making anybody in our generation? I can just guess that nobody on the sound of my voice has given themselves to 40 days marathon. Because we didn't kill Jesus. Yes or no? Did we kill Jesus? Such thoughts don't even drop in our mind mistakenly. Three days. Ah, I will die. Oh. Like you're not already dead. You can't see, you can't hear, you can't feel, you can't touch. Nothing in the spirit realm and you say you will die. Are you not already dead? So I began to pursue the faith of our fathers. Whatever drove them must drive me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Whatever was doing them must start what? Doing me. Whatever was pushing them must start what? pushing me. So the next time you shout amen to a prophecy, start looking out for the push inside your spirit. If nothing is making you do differently, then nothing happened to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to remember that it was the same apostles that were sleeping and they tapped them and said, pray. What happened to them again? They slept. They tapped them again and said what? Pray. Prayerlessness was their second name tap them again say pray temptation is coming pray Baba still did what she slept on the Jesus said continue sleeping rest <laughs> because it's too late to start praying now the same apostles gathered for 10 days waiting on the Holy Ghost how many days how many days 10 days it must have been the teachings of the kingdom. That in the kingdom we move things by what? Prayer. Prayer. 